Children's Chapel for January 10th, 2021. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are here to worship and praise you. Open our hearts and minds that we may hear your words spoken to us, the Bible story today. Amen. Our Bible story today comes from the Gospel of Mark, and we will be reading from Tommy DePaula's illustrated stories of the Bible. And today's story is about Jesus's baptism. We see here that there is the River Jordan, people standing on the banks of the River Jordan, and there is a baptism occurring there in that river. So let's read about that today. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the desert. He went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked road shall become straight and rough very smooth, and all mankind will see God's salvation. The people were waiting, waiting expectantly and were all wondering if their hearts, in their hearts, if John might possibly be the Christ. John answered them all, I baptize you with water, but one more powerful than I will come, and I will not be worthy to untie the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff and unquenchable fire. And with many other words, John exhorted the people and preached the good news to them. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was open and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. The Gospel of the Lord. A gospel reading that we just heard, and I'll show you these pictures again. We see that Jesus is baptized by his cousin John. And you see up in that corner there, there is a dove representing the Holy Spirit. And some of you might wonder why Jesus, the Son of God, the only human who was ever born without sin, needed to be baptized in the River Jordan along with everyone else? And that is such a really great question to ask because not only did kids maybe ponder that, adults too, I think, probably wonder why. And we can know that when Jesus did enter into the water of the River Jordan, he entered in to those waters and took on all of our sin. And whenever he came up from the waters, the people around him heard God's voice say, you, Jesus, are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. And at that moment, those people would have known that Jesus was the Messiah, the one they had been waiting for. Then later, after Jesus went into ministry, he was crucified on a cross. 
for all of us. And through his death on the cross and his resurrection, he paid the price for all of our sins so that we too, through our own baptism, we are washed clean by the blood of Jesus so that we can also be called the beloved children of God with whom he is well pleased. For that, we can always be grateful and rejoice. Amen. Now, as our Savior Jesus taught us, we are bold to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.